So I thought I would make a little video showing um, a little play I had in my sketchbook the other day. I just put on some yellow ochre paint. I had a, a palette full of paint that needed to be used up, so um, this is what I did. Here I'm splashing on a bit of water and then wiping with the colour shaper and you get these little spots. Although it's so warm in my studio at the moment that the paint dries so quickly. Um, I have to keep it wet by adding water to it. I'm now uh, writing onto that red paint with a pink um, a pink crayon or pastel I think it is and I'm just sort of doing some big drawing marks. Here I'm using a black um, waterproof pencil and coming in with um, some dark paint and this colour is it's not black it's kind of a real muddy dark brownie green it's really um, it's dark it's desaturated so it's going to look really good next to the red and I like the red coming through it where the paint isn't all that thick Now I'm just putting on some light, uh, just sort of smearing some light colour paint onto it, just so that I get some strong value contrasts. I don't have a plan when I do this, I'm just sort of, at the moment, just sort of playing with the paint and building up layers and just hoping that something will happen that's lovely and that will end up giving me an idea for where I can take this little foray into paint. Um, and so at the moment really I'm just trying to create an interesting surface to work on and look for things that I like. So having put down that paint and smooshed it around so that it's quite thin, I like to put a bit of thicker paint over the top and now I'm working that over so that it's breaking in some of the edges and making it sort of a more accidental mark. I love um, just layering the page up with accidental loose paint going on, varying the thickness and the thinness, adding a bit of water so that it spreads it around. And this is the sort of surface that I like to have. It's just sort of made up of layers of paint um, and edges that you can see through and past to things that are underneath. It makes a really interesting surface. So having put all that on, now I am looking at doing something completely different. So I've changed the colour, I'm now working with a cool colour, and I'm working with, I'm putting the paint on quite thickly, so it's opaque paint, and I'm just putting on some shapes just to see what will happen. And I'm going to combine that with line, so shape and line are always great, great combinations. So here comes a warm colour. I put on a cool colour and now I'm putting on a warm colour. And I'm just stacking up sort of strips of different colours in paint and just sort of seeing what happens here. Making sure that each time I put another shape on, it's different from the one that I've just put on before. I don't want to get repetitive here at all. And so the last colour was warm, so the next colour will be cool. Once again, making sure that each one is different. I love little circles. I don't know, there's something quite playful about a ball. Anyway, then I come in with this line. I'm not hugely loving that line as I did it, so the first thing I do is try and paint over the top of it. So this page has got lots of really nice marks in it that I like, but I haven't really found what anything that is grabbing me yet, so I just come in with a shape and look at different ways of painting that shape onto the page. So I do a positive negative thing, I do a fill it in with colour, one of them, and one of them is just an outline. 
I'm still searching, I don't really know. I haven't really found what I like in this on this page yet. So I'm just putting the paint on, sort of thinking about those shapes, but in the end just moving it around to get some more of those sort of accidental marks and building up the layers again. And now I'm going to try and define some shapes again by using a really light colour in here and I'm just cutting in doing a sort of a positive negative type thing making this all up as I go along just seeing what comes of shape making and I'm going to spread that out onto this other side of the page as well so that it links. And now I'm coming in with some line, but I want, um, I'm sort of keeping it light so that it's something that you see when you come up close, it's not going to be too, um, it's not going to be too dominant in the painting, it's just going to be extra marks and fun shapes. And then once again keeping the paint light in this light area, I'm coming in, I'm painting in a shape. Not loving it, but sort of keeping it there. It's a big shape, so it's kind of different from what I've got before. Then I brought in this pink one and I didn't love that either. <laughs> but I like the colour so that can add. And then this red, I saw a little bit of red on the side and I thought, well that's quite nice, so I'm going to, I'll put that around. Bringing in some more line, adding more differences. some more line over the top of that shape and these are the initials of my parents name which I like to use in paintings so in the end it was quite fun I, I was quite happy with what I had managed to build just playing with that paint <laughs> 